Guys, welcome to my video review. I'm currently staying in Edinburgh and I've rented out an apartment. I've rented the, the apartment through VIP Apartments. So I'm just going to show you around the apartment and just tell you some information about VIP Apartments. Currently staying in Simpson Loan. It's near one of the uni it's near one of the universities in Edinburgh, but I can't remember which one. We're five to ten minutes away from the city centre, so not too far. So I'll show you around. When you first come in, you're greeted with the hallway, which is quite spacious for a hallway. The apartment comes with video intercom, so if anyone buzzes the apartment, you can physically see who it is. Got some plugs there. So once again, the hallway is quite big actually, honestly speaking. Just to give you a full view of it. It's a coat rack. Have a little desk thingy. So when you first come in, there is somebody that shows you around, it provides you more information, but they leave you with a pack. Basically, the pack's just got information about their services their, and contact numbers. Also, the apartment comes with free Wi-Fi, so the codes are there. They also provide you with a map for the city centre, and as I said, we're roughly five to ten minutes away, five minutes away from the castle. When you rent an apartment through VIP Apartments, you actually get discounts to different restaurants within Edinburgh. And basically, their checkout procedures. So, this is the key you get given. And this black tag is what you show to the restaurants that offer you discounts. So through this tag, they'll know that you're staying at VIP apartments and you get your discount on your overall meal. Got the grey fog key to get you in through the main entrance. And then this is for the main door we just went through. So we're currently staying in a one bedroom superior room. We have stayed with VIP apartments before. We stayed in a deluxe room, which was quite small and didn't have such nice views. We'll first go into the bathroom. Bathroom's decent size. Has a shower and a bath. They do provide you with amenities, but we bought our own. So you get some moisturizing lotion and some hair and body wash and a bath soap. There's a lot of spacing. So we're only staying here for four nights. So I guess if you're staying here for weeks, you'd fill up the cupboards. Which was really weird. They only provide you one toilet roll. Well, we only got provided one toilet roll, so we had to buy some more. You get provided towels as well. So there's the shower. It's good shower head, good water pressure, and bath, which is a decent size. I will say the lighting in this apartment is very good. You never feel like you're in the dark. So next room we're going into is the bedroom. Bedroom very simplistic, white walls. Don't mind the messy bed. The bed looked much, much neater, but we slept in it. Closet space is great. So you get two closets with the sliding doors. And I'm assuming if you're staying with a family, they do provide a um, travel cot. They do have a nice makeup table with a mirror for the ladies, which was very a benefit for me. So the beds, I think it's a either double or king size memory foam, which was great to sleep in. Then you have another full length mirror. And with the superior apartments, you actually get a very nice view. As I said before, we stayed in a deluxe room and we were facing another wall of a building but you can actually see out into Edinburgh and if I zoom in you can actually from the bedroom you can actually see Arthur's seat so it's a peak mountain in Edinburgh so here it is and this is all from the bedroom as you have floor 
to wall windows I mean floor to ceiling windows so when we first came in here the first thing you notice is how bright it is in the daytime I have the lights on but you switch off the lights and it's sunny the room does look really nice more plugs there and you also have a thermostat for each room to control the temperature so back out into the hallway and then the next room is the living room with an open plan kitchen got a dining table the only thing I had to say about this um, about the living room itself was there was no plugs are in awkward places so there's not actually any plugs near the table so when we go into the kitchen you see I'm charging my laptop on the counter because that was the nearest plug TV is quite small so I, think, I think it's 24 inches but it will do then you've got your L shaped sofa Got my lazy boyfriend just sitting there. Once again, get floor to wall to floor to ceiling window view. And this is the university I was talking about just here. I'm um, still can't remember its name, but yeah. Even though we're right next to the university, it's not noisy or anything. And we've been staying here since Friday, today's Saturday. And you'd expect, obviously, Friday nights, Saturday nights. It's been great. There's actually a Sainsbury's over here, fortunately, you can't see, which is very convenient because we can literally pop down and go to the Sainsbury's. The bus stop is literally, I say, three minutes walk away from here, which makes the apartment convenient. You can actually open up the window. So you literally feel like you're outside I'll close that like I said there's a lot of storage space so you also slide that and you have some shelves dining table then you go into the kitchen very modern kitchen so you have your different cupboards the apartments do provide utensils so forks knives pots and pans and the dishwasher as well and they, they provide the dishwasher tablets then plates and bowls provided as well then we have the fridge. The fridge is massive. <laughs> it's actually too big for me because I can't reach the top, but very massive fridge. And also freezers provided. Got your kettle, toaster. And as I said, my laptop's charging here because there's no plugs near the dining table. Microwave, oven. Um, they do provide coffee, sugar, and tea. We'll put some pans in your cutlery. Then chopping boards. Then I'll just walk back. That's the living room area, and then here's the kitchen. We also have a utility room with a washing machine and they provide iron, ironing board and you've got your boiler. We, we just put our suitcases here. For a long term stay and a short term stay, I would recommend VIP apartments. We've been with them twice now, Dulux and now Superior and I can't complain, their services are impeccable. We actually had an issue with the curtains and we called their customer service, we had someone come into come to the apartment within 30 minutes to help solve our issues they do offer free late checkout when you book directly with them you can book through booking.com yeah 
and that's it i hope my review was informative and more to come